This is my Pack Fresh First Edition Hollow Dragonite from Fossil. It was recently sold on eBay at PSA 10 for $6,200. Money. There is a problem though. This Dragonite is not that Dragonite. That Dragonite is a PSA 10 that was sold. This one, ungraded and like still in my hands. In this video, I'm gonna take you from the moment that this Dragonite was pulled through grading and all the way through a sale. Yes, we're gonna see exactly how much money, money. this actual card will get us. We're gonna see if we can even get anywhere near $6,200 with this, a number that many people online will say, myself included, I just did, to capture your attention, which could potentially influence your buying decision, which uh, is not really the greatest. When I eventually get to the sale of this thing, I'm not gonna use my network, I'm not gonna use any of my social channels, we'll keep it as real world as possible, and we're gonna see just how much money, money. we could sell the Dragonite for. In a way, you might say, Put my money, money where my mouth is. Ugh. All right, so here is the plan and the journey that we're gonna go on together. Number one, the pull, when this actually got out of the world. Number two, the examination of the card. Number three, grading and getting it ready for that. Number four, bringing it back and getting the grade and revealing it to see what we got. Number five, getting it ready for sale. Number six, the sale. Number seven, the conclusion. Besides being just fun to go from start to finish with you here, I think it'd be a great way to really fully understand just kind of really how lucky you have to get to pull a car that's gonna make a lot of money. Almost every single step in this process has what I like to call a moment of maybe, or mom for short. You know, mom's great. She'll take care of you when you need help, but other times you just say, but man, right? There are just some things that happen that you can't control and you're investing money or you're paying for packs and so much is out of your control. It's a dangerous game. All right, let's get to the pull. This Dragonite was actually pulled from a pack that I paid for on a live stream over at Royalty Gaming Pokemon on April 17th, 2021. This is what is known as a box break where a person buys a sealed box, people pay for individual packs and they get the cards open live and shipped to the buyer after. It's kind of crazy when I first heard about it, like why not just buy the packs and open them up yourself? But I gotta say, there's something fun about having someone else you trust open the packs in front of a bunch of people, getting access to packs that you wouldn't normally get access to. And there's definitely a community element to it. Anyway, this pack cost me $600. And I wanna share with you that moment when it was opened. Vroom, oh, he did it. Oh my God. What a beautiful specimen! Pat, pulling out the first edition Dragonite, dude! The Dragonite in Fossil is one of the more popular and sought after cards in the set. And this is the first big mom or moment of maybe in this entire sequence, right? But it's a big one. Every booster box has 36 packs. There's a rare hollow in 12 of them or one out of every three packs. There's a total of 15 hollows you can pull from the set. So if I do my math correctly, that's about a 2% chance to pull the Dragonite. This pull was just plain lucky. The nice thing I will say is that uh, I saw it was opened. It was open in a real pack. It, I, I trust the seller. I know he's gonna ship it and have it come back to me in the condition that it was opened in. If you purchase from eBay, for example, you don't necessarily know who those sellers are. You don't know if they're hiding something in the image or not telling you something. And then all of a sudden you get a card that wasn't what you paid for. That's a lot of mom. I love my mom, by the way. All right, so I got the card in hand now. So let's take a closer look because there's a lot of other things that have to align before hopefully we get this thing working out the way we want to. So let's go check it out. I received the card just a few days later along with the other cards in the pack and let's now take a closer look at this Dragonite. Condition is obviously very important when it comes to the value of your cards. And even though a card is pack fresh, like literally straight from the pack, it could still not be a perfect 10. Another mom moment. So here, as we can see, the centering, which I typically look at first, seems really, really good. On the back, maybe not quite as much, but then I look at the edges and the corners for any whitenings or rough edges. There's a little bit of rough edges at the top, but I've gotten away with that before at PSA. So, so far, you know, it's potential. Now it's time to examine the holographic area of the card, which is notorious for something called print lines. If we find any print lines, card will definitely get dinged when it goes in for gridding. And yep, right there on the right side of the Dragonite, a print line. Oh my no, God! Unfortunately, this is a very common occurrence. And again, if you don't get a print line, you're lucky. Out of 2,142 Dragonites submitted to PSA, only 210 
have come back a PSA 10. But who knows, maybe we'll get lucky. Grading your cards will typically help increase the value of that card. It's authenticated, and if it's in a good condition, it's more scarce and sought after, and you can get a lot more money for it. PSA recently shut down most of their services, however. Uh, they're catching up on a huge backlog and whatnot, but for the sake of this experiment, yes. It's a science experiment! I'm gonna throw down for Super Express, that's $300. I wanna get fast results for you because I think this is important. So for luck and to, to just hit me back with a thank you, Pat, just hit that thumbs up button because uh, we're gonna need that luck for sure. All right, now let's go through this really quickly. So first we put the Dragonite in a penny sleeve. Then we put it in a semi-rigid card saver. I got card saver ones here. I'm gonna put all the links to this in the description if you're curious. We're gonna sandwich this between two pieces of cardboard. Then we wrap a rubber band around it. And then we wrap all this in bubble wrap. We're gonna put in the box the two copies. There's also a little thing that you put on the side of the box to kind of register the number. And then we're gonna ship it off to PSA's address and wait. But first, let's talk about grading cards real quick. This is where a lot of moms come into play, right? Moments of maybe. Let's list them all out. Number one, shipping to the grading service. Hopefully I package this up well and it gets there okay. I mean, it could get lost, it can get mishandled. Number two, at the grading service. Well, who grades it? How fair are they? Are they having a good day? Are they having a bad day? How does that affect the grade of my card? I mean, there's a human involved, right? And some grading companies have more computers now to help keep it consistent, but trust me, it's not always consistent. And number three, coming back from the grading service, did they pack it well? Maybe it gets mangled during transit like this. All right, well, let's hope that doesn't happen. But as you can see, there's a lot of things out of our control that could happen, a lot. And let's see what happens when we get our submission back. Two weeks later. All right, it's May 21st and we got the box back. 12 days after submitting, we're gonna crack this thing open, see what the grade is of our Dragonite. And I spent $300, as you saw, on this grading service. A little bit more expensive than I would normally go, but we wanted it in quickly for the video and science. It's a science experiment! Let's open this up, see what we get. Now in PSA, gives you your grades. You can look to see what the grade is ahead of time, but I have not looked at it yet. So this is the, literally the first time I'm seeing the grades. So remember print lines, maybe a nine. I'm, I'm, I would be happy with a nine. I'd be a little a bit disappointed if it was lower than that. And I'd be very surprised if, if it was a 10, although obviously I'd be much happier because we'd be able to sell it for more. So let's see what we get. Here we go. Whoa, hold up. Let's talk about what the actual value difference would be if we got a PSA 10 or PSA 9 or PSA 8, because it's actually quite staggering. PSA 10 sold a couple weeks ago for $5,000. If I scroll down a little bit more, 6,200, 5,300. So we're at the five to $6,000 range at a PSA 10, but let's try PSA 9 and see what happens. First edition Dragonite PSA, Hollow PSA 9, $878. This one sold a couple days ago, 92 bids, $860, $800 below that. Let's try PSA 8 just to see. It recently sold for $277. That's a $600 difference from the PSA 9 and several more from the PSA 10, huge differences. So let's see what the grade that we got on our Dragonite was. Here we go. Boom, nine. Okay, just like I expected. Thankful that it's not lower than that. Um, it's time to sell this puppy, or drag. All right, first things first, we have two options to sell this thing on eBay, an actual auction or a buy it now purchase. Coincidentally, there was an auction for the same card on eBay that was ending a day later, an actual PWCC official auction. So I wanted to see what that would end at first. And this card ended at $680. 680, way below the $800 price point we saw and found earlier. All right, so uh, that's not so good. So I'm gonna start the price at $799, buy it now, free shipping, and um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hope for the best. We'll see what happens. One week later. All right, it has been one week since putting this up for sale and nobody's bought it yet. Still have it in hand. We have about 150 people who have viewed it, so people are seeing it. We have about five or six people who are watching it, which means they're paying attention to it to see what happens. They're interested, but nobody's bought yet. And remember, this is a first edition fossil from 1999, a Dragonite, one of the chase cards, and we're unable to sell it at the price that we had hoped for. So I don't wanna do this, but I wanna do this just to see if we can get it off our hands for some sort of price. I will be eventually taking a loss. I wanna sell this for $100 off 
to those who are interested. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an offer, which means we can say, hey, I saw that you checked this out, you might be interested. What if we sold it for $6.99 instead of $7.99? Would you bite? Several days later. All right, so it's been a week and a half. This thing's been up for sale. Dozens of people have the offer now. Hundreds of people have seen this Dragonite on eBay. Nobody's bought. Nobody's bought. Every single offer that we, sh we shared, as you can see here, has expired. And even this person, they declined the offer. They're like, no, I don't want your Dragonite. So what happens next? $5,000. Nah, it, as you can tell, it's not that easy. There's so many variables. And like in this situation, I mean, who says you're going to be able to sell this thing? Some cards, they fly off the shelves really easily. And other times like this, you might think they will. And well, they don't. And remember, these cards are not liquid assets. All right, so what's the plan for Mr. Dragonite here? Well, for right now, we're going to hodl. Uh, we're going to hold on to it because now it's just not the right time. At least I don't think it is. Do you think it is? Let me know in the comment section. But stick around because we're going to find a time to sell this. We're going to find a time. I'll let you know when it happens. You know, I wonder what would happen if we tried the same exact experiment, but with a modern card. But I don't know. Just got to pull something worth doing the experiment with.